Hey, what's up guys? Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now we're at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center again today, and we're gonna talk about a really, really cool snake. It's not very commonly kept. It's a super unique snake from Africa, okay? Now, just before we get into that, right there in that bottom corner is our subscriber button. Make sure you hit that and follow along, and we appreciate your subscription and coming along with us week after week after week. Now let's get right into this. All right, we have here an absolutely beautiful African file snake. These are absolutely beautiful, beautiful animals from Africa. Now, one of the cool things is they're somewhat kill scale. This is a nocturnal species from Africa, so they are a non-venomous, a little bit larger non-venomous species from Africa. Now, these guys right here do not require a lot of high heat. They're also a primary ground dweller, so they're not a huge fan of being picked up because they don't feel comfortable being off the ground. So we try and give them a lot of space to be able to feel like they're not falling. One of the most amazing thing about these particular types of snakes, for one, yes, they are a burrowing snake, so whenever you set them up, it kind of goes against a lot of the things that we talk about, about not having too much moisture inside of the habitat. This guy right here actually needs a good amount of depth because they like to burrow and they like to have a more moist area of bedding. Yes, beautiful. Yes, you're beautiful. All right, now they get the foul snake name from the head shape. Let's see if I can get his head up here. From that head shape, that kind of looks like a foul. All right. It also works really conveniently for them to be able to get down into the ground or into underneath mulch, leaf litter, things like that. Okay. Now, one of the absolute, I think, most amazing thing about these snakes is these guys right here are actually snake eaters. Yes, they will eat mammals. They will eat uh, different types of vertebrates. But one of the primary things that they will do is they go after things like, you'll see here, mambas and puff adders and different cobra species and they'll eat them they're immune to all the venom and they will take out and eat some of the things that are some of the deadliest snakes on the planet so that makes these a really really cool species now they're very docile typically gentle by nature so for the longest time most of these obviously were wild caught species most of them still are wild caught species we do have more people in captivity that's trying to breed them. There have been some success, people successfully breeding them for a few years now, but they're not still commonly and widely distributed like some of your other species. So that does make education and knowledge about these animals a little bit more difficult because we're still learning more and more and more about this particular species of snake. Absolutely amazing animal. All right, now, this is just a little overview of a really, really cool snake that is not commonly kept in captivity. It's popular, but not commonly kept. For one, not enough information known, and a lot of people's not digging deep enough in, and these animals can be stressy and die a little bit faster than some other animals do. All right, now. This is the African file snake. This is Chad. We're here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center. We do appreciate you coming along and following along week after week and video after video. Make sure to write us in and let us know about the things you want us to film about. We have some stuff in the hole. Also, check out the TikTok channel entitled Reptile Rangers and the Kernersville Reptile Zoo's Instagram page. If you're interested in pets, we do have pets and supplies and all the good trimmings for them. Make sure again to hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell for notification. We'll either see you here at the zoo or we'll see you on the next episode. Later.